Okay, that's Susan Mafofa, and this is for one of my subscribers. We are going to solve cosine of 4x is equal to cosine of x. And don't do this. Do not just cross out the cosine on both sides and say 4x is equal to x, and say 3x is equal to 0, and say x is equal to 0, and that's it. No, that's only one of the solutions. In this equation here, we have infinitely many solutions, and this is how we are going to deal with this legitimately, okay? Keep in mind, cosine is periodic. The period for cosine is 2 pi. And if you look at this right here, let me just put this down again. Cosine of x is equal to cosine of x. But since the period for cosine is 2 pi, and then you, know, you can just keep adding that or we'll subtract that, I will actually have to put down plus 2n pi. And what's n? Well, let me just indicate that n is equal to 0 plus minus 1 plus minus 2 and so on. Or you can also just put down n is just an integer, okay? So this is pretty much a deal. Once you include this part, you can legitimately cancel the cosine and say we have 4x equals to just the inside now, namely x plus 2n pi. And now we can subtract the x on both sides. 3x equals to 2n pi divided both sides by 3. x is equal to 2n pi over 3, just like this. Okay? And this is not it. <laughs> Why? Because if you look at this part, positive x inside, it's the same as negative x inside of cosine, because cosine is an even function. So we have to consider the other situation as well. And you might also be wondering, how come I didn't add the 2 and pi on both sides? The truth is, it doesn't really matter. Just pick one side and add it to that, that's all. Anyway, the other thing that I have to do is, I will have to consider, this is only the first part of the year. Now the second part is, I will have to look at cosine of 4x as equal to cosine of negative x. Okay? Cosine of negative x is the same as cosine of x. And of course, I cannot just cross out the cosine unless I include the 2 and pi from here as well. And now we are in business. 4x equals to negative x plus 2 um, pi. And then, of course, add the x on both sides. 5x equals to 2 um, pi. And in the end, we get x is equal to 2 um, pi over 5. So, depends on how you would like to write down your answers. And depends uh, if you want to use set building notation whatsoever, but I think this is pretty clear. Okay, so this is it. The moral behind this story is that when you cancel cosine on both sides, be sure you have the 2 um, pi on one of the sides. Likewise, also consider uh, the negative x because cosine is even. So, as always, that's it.